one special player left his personal mark on the entire nation. In 1981, Kenneth Sims set a goal to be the best lineman in America. A lot of people would be afraid to set a goal like that, but uh, it's realistic. Uh, I knew if I worked hard, I could do it. When they started the College Football Hall of Fame, the National Football Foundation had this dream of bringing back and honoring those people who had been giants in the field of play. And it also included those who continued with their life and looked at the body of work beyond just what they did as a football player. As I hear a lot of people tell me stories about you, it's a shame I didn't get to know you sooner. You're an incredible human being. Congratulations being inducted to the College Football Hall of Fame. It is an unbelievable honor for you and for your family. This is a great night for you. So let's give it up to Kenny Sims. Yeah, yeah. It's a tremendous honor to be here with all these great players. One of my teammates from the Super Bowl in New England, we were all American on the Bob Hope Show. It's a tremendous reunion. And just to be in this uh, room with these great guys and uh, to be so blessed that I played this game has given me so much. It's the life well lived. It's the journey that everyone takes through their journey to get to where they got to to make it what he has become. And at the same time, he was a gifted athlete. He was a gifted friend to so many people. And I think that's the one thing, as you look around the room, you'll find lots and lots of people from generations who are there to honor Kenneth Sims because of what Kenneth Sims meant to Texas. He's an unbelievable person from the standpoint of his love for other people. Uh, he's not one to brag about himself, never would, never could. It's not in his DNA. Kenneth Sims' DNA is to go out and play the way Mama Sims and Papa Sims taught him how to play. We all aspire to be like him. Uh, he was everything to us. He set the example in the weight room, on the practice field, and certainly on the playing field. But we all wanted, we just aspired to play as good as he did. And uh, it was hard for a lot of us to get to that point but it was fun to try. And uh, he was there very supportive, helping us every step along the way. Uh, but he was really just a force to reckon with and an incredible player. He was never intimidated. He was never intimidated on the football field and he was never intimidated by people. He was good enough when he could interact with people. He made you feel like you were his friend. Whether he knew you well or not, he made you feel like he cared about you. From 1978 to 1981, Texas defensive tackle Kenneth Sims, a unanimous first team All-American in 1981 and a consensus first team All-American in 1980. What is your favorite memory from that 1981 season in which you had an amazing 23 tackles for loss? Well, we were number one for a week, my whole career at Texas. And I was thinking the other day, it's still more than the whole state. So it wasn't a bad deal, but we got boat raced down in Arkansas. And the next week we went up to SMU and they had a future Hall of Famer. And a uh, guy told me that uh, we were underdogs. And I asked him, I said, what does that mean? He said, y'all supposed to get beat. I said, they forgot to tell us. So we went up there and we beat them with three field goals. And if you've ever won a game with all field goals, you know you earn your, your uh, per diem that day. The game of college football is like an odyssey. It goes in streaks, it goes in waves. There are powerful teams and powerful people and they all fit at different times. And in the early 1980s, Texas and SEMU dominated the Southwest Conference. And if you go back and look it up, Kenneth Sims in that defense played perhaps as fine a game as ever was played by a Longhorn football team. In Old Texas Stadium in Arlington, no one will ever forget that afternoon. Texas Stadium, you know, when the horns are coming, it's going to be a sellout. It was sold out. SMU is undefeated and looking for a national championship. 
But at that point, with the group of seniors we had, you know, uh, Bruce Schultz, Shankle, you know, it was, we just had a fantastic bunch of leaders and uh, uh, Bobby Johnson and Safety, uh, guys that played in the pros. So we just, we came together and uh, uh, we put the clamps on them that day and uh, we basically shut them down. But when he was out there and playing against Oklahoma or some of the other uh, rivals, uh, they always had to know where he was. He was a force to reckon with. He, he, he disrupted so many offensive plays on the, on the other side of the ball. He was just that kind of impact player that he could change the outcome of a game with just a simple play. Uh, and it was fun to watch him do that to other people and not us in practice. They'll never have a run like that with defensive tackles, bro. We were just, we were phenomenal. He called us a million dollar tackles and boy, did he ever corner. We'd be a billion dollar bunch now. You know, and, uh, those kids that prosper from the game. So, uh, but I got to give credit to Coach Parker and Steve McMichaels. Uh, or Steve, he, he wasn't a selfish player. Uh, he was sure in his knowledge of the game. And the best way to learn is from the guy in front of you. Coaches are good, but coach got to teach that guy in front of you and he'll show you the, you know, the road to glory. Uh, there's no two ways about it. Uh, I try not to get so up or down because it is just a game, but uh, I'm all in. It's a huge honor, honor to be up here, to be honored for you play. I'm just able and I was blessed with immense talent and uh, a lot of support from family and coaches. And, uh, you know, it was just, it was just the right place for me to be, you know. The good Lord says that, the Bible says that uh, the righteous man's footsteps are directed by God, so I believe you know, he directed me the right path. And uh, that's all I can say. I gotta give credit to uh, Big Guy Upstairs. From the University of Texas, the inaugural recipient of the Lombardi Award, defensive tackle, Kenneth Sims. Um, there's not a better education than a well-rounded experience in the nation. Uh, we're a little down now, but as Will Rogers said, the sun can't shine on the same dog's booty all the time. But I think we're about to hit that light again. And I love those kids. I think if they want to be on something special, you know, come to Texas, and uh, if you're a Texas kid, put your roots down and uh, make something there in Texas and be remembered in a, in a fantastic light. Because our family, you're part of our family, you like it.